Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the newest Bootstrap 5 along with ASP.NET project. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to start using ASP.NET, we have to download it from Microsoft page first. So navigate to .net.microsoft.com and find an ASP.NET. Once you get there, uh, hit the download button. As for today, the newest version is 5.0 and it is the recommended version. So I'm going to download and install this version. Uh, but while you will be watching this video, there might be a newer version. So please always download the recommended version. We're going to install the SDK version. So hit download.net SDK version, hit um, download button or wait until um, download will start automatically um, so uh, in my case it didn't start so I clicked here now it's downloaded .NET SDK and now run the installation um, so let's quickly go through the installation and when it's done we're gonna verify whether .NET was installed uh, correctly so let's wait until installation is over now once installation is over uh, hit the close button um, I have it in Polish as it pick up my native language but obviously you will see this in English or in your um, mother language hit the close button now let's open command line and let's type .NET you should see message similar to the one I've just got. So this shows that the .NET has been installed correctly. Okay, so let's move to the next step, which will be creation of our first app. So uh, let's navigate to the location of your choice. I will go to working directory .NET. And now let's type .NET new web app. minus o and let's call it my web app minus minus no https as we don't need this for this project this will generate a new project for us so the web app parameter selects what template to use uh, while we are creating the application so as you can see we are creating web application there are others uh, which we are gonna cover in the next tutorials minus o this parameter creates a directory named my web app so it will create this folder which you can see over here without this it will just put all these files uh, inside the directory which we were at the moment when we place this command when we run this command and no https flag specifies to not to enable https so now let's open uh, this uh, project in visual studio code uh, and let's have a look at the file structure so as you can see there are a few um, there are a few files over here um, so i'm not gonna go through all of them but let's quickly see uh, what we have here so my web app um, CS project this is the place which defines um, what libraries uh, are referenced in our project so in our case currently we do have just an .NET 5.0 over here if you install some extra dependencies like you do um, uh, in other projects you would see all of them over here um, now this folder pages contains uh, a default pages pages generated by um, generator we're gonna see them um, in a few seconds once we run our application so now you can see that we have few few pages here one is index the other one is privacy and the one is error so the one which is thrown when we uh, don't find a given page um, and finally the startup cs this is the configuration file so it contains all the set settings and the configuration for our application we're not gonna go much into details we are running our hello world right now so in order to run our application we have to run the following command which is dotnet run now obviously we got an error couldn't find a project to run because we didn't go 
into our my web app as you remember we add this minus o which created uh, our project inside a new folder new directory so now first we have to navigate into the, the directory and now run dotnet run again which will build our project and start it we're gonna see an address and a port in a console let's wait a few seconds for that and now we can see that our application is running at this address so let's open it and let's see how it looks in the browser so as you can see this is our index page this is our home index and we have this privacy which is one of the sub page over here now how to change something in our application let's find our index uh, file so we have index.schtml and as you can see it contains our code and uh, here we have welcome so let's change it to hello world let's save it and let's restart our server now let's refresh and now we have hello world here now let's check one thing let's open a console let's open a network and let's refresh our page and what you're gonna see is that under css and js tab you're gonna have bootstrap loaded so well we didn't do anything and by default we got bootstrap and as you can see we also got the jquery what does it mean and why is it happening so uh, by default asp.net uh, if you create a web app and if you remember we use this as a parameter so web app automatically loads uh, a bootstrap so if we go to uh, www root and lib directory you're gonna see that we already have some third party directory so um, we also have here css folder and js so this is place where we put or replace our custom styles uh, so if we were about to write our uh, custom styles uh, for um, uh, our application we already have here a few of them for our um, nav bar you can see them over there we would write them over here the same applies for the javascript so this is the place where we write our javascript and leap is the place where we place our uh, third part um, libraries as you can see we already have this jquery jquery validation and a bootstrap so now the question is where do we load them so in order to find this one we need to navigate to pages and shared now if we go to layout you're gonna see that we have our bootstrap linked over here already and the same applies to our jquery scripts okay so now let's test it so let me remind you that this is uh, bootstrap 4 obviously this is the one which is coming with the asp.net at the moment um so uh, and we want to load bootstrap 5. so let's navigate to bootstrap um 4 and let's go to bootstrap docs uh, components and let's use some card let's say so let's just verify whether this bootstrap works or not mm, let's get back to code let's go to index CSHTML, and let's paste this card over here obviously we don't have any image here so it's gonna be blank but we should see our styles working so let's rebuild the application And now we can see our bootstrap button over here so bootstrap 4 works perfectly fine now in order to uh, change it to bootstrap 5 let's download bootstrap 5 so uh, we can download this from mdbootstrap.com So we can download this from our mdbootstrap.com. If you go to mdbootstrap.com slash bootstrap5, you're gonna get the download link for the bootstrap5 here. Or obviously you can get this one from a bootstrap5 page, but this is a little bit more complex because it's gonna get us to a blog and then uh, to the download page of bootstrap 4 
So, uh, oh, it's even more difficult than I expected. For some reason, they are not giving this link. Oh, here is Bootstrap 5. And download section, and here we have compiled CSS. So, one way or another, uh, you can either download this flow get bootstrap or go to mdbootstrap.com slash bootstrap dash five one way or another you are getting bootstrap five now let's unzip this folder so let me go to the folder let's extract all okay and what we have to do now is as i said we have two options we can either remove bootstrap 4 and then add bootstrap 5 or we can just replace it what i mean by remove and add is just we could place this under different location or different name right so let me show you that working um .NET, my web app and here under www root under lib we could create a new folder here for a bootstrap 5 and place it over here or we could um, just keep it here as you might know bootstrap 5 doesn't require jquery so technically we could mm, remove it but um, our application uh, which uses razor um, uses jquery underneath so i'm not gonna delete this one but what we're gonna do instead we're gonna uh, replace a bootstrap files so this is currently bootstrap 4 and we're gonna replace it with bootstrap 5 files so css i'm gonna remove bootstrap 4 on the left and i'm gonna copy and paste bootstrap 5 over here obviously this is just for the sake of the tutorial normally we wouldn't copy all of them we would just use one uh, of them uh, the minimized one uh, but for the sake of this tutorial uh, and also for the sake of development if you for example would like to use rtl version which comes with bootstrap 5 you could possibly do that um, now let's go and do the same with javascript files so let's go to js let's get rid of number four and go back to number five now let's just verify if we are loading the same file name so here we don't need jquery obviously and here we've been loading bootstrap bundle min js let's see if this is the same for bootstrap 5 lib bootstrap js bootstrap bundle min js bootstrap bundle min js it's here and the same for css so bootstrap min css bootstrap mean css so the files are there everything should be working fine so uh, let's get back to bootstrap 5 docs and for the as far as bootstrap 5 is concerned you can see it here let's get components and let's use um card or carousel let's let's have a look at the carousel oh carousel doesn't have images so let's take something which works out of the box uh, so we could use models so let's copy the example uh, let's get back to our code let's go to our index page again pages index let's get rid of card and let's paste let's paste model here okay now let's restart our server and let's refresh the page and let's see if everything works as we expected so as you can see both css and js works perfectly fine so this is how you add a Bootstrap 5 to your uh, ASP.NET project. Mm, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment because it's going to help us to reach more audience. Mm, and if you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments down below or join our Facebook group where you can uh, post any question regarding web development. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,